Welcome back to episode 42 of this Napoleonic Total War 3 1805 campaign playing as the Empire of France. Uh, so I've burned through all the money and what have you. I've got a couple of enemy spies active, one there and one up there. Um, my dude, Charles Louis Schulmeister, um, started his assassination run on these ones. He, managed, he killed one of them, so I'll just keep him going at that one a turn if I can. Um, on the eastern flank I'm going to leave them static so they can rebuild and retrain. Got a DeVos army there, Messina's army there. He's got one cavalry unit there that I had a moment with and misclicked. And another infantry unit joining him so he'll be up to full strength so the eastern front will be okay. Uh, these cavalry chaps are just retraining because they need it. And then when they're done, I'll probably move them over here. I've got a sort of force assembling, just infantry at the moment. So I'll collect the odd strays and the extra recruited men and peeps and whatever you and move them down into Marseille. So I've got an army in the south until the Ottomans sort themselves out. Um, Murat, I'm going to kind of move him up here just so he can respond. You would think the eastern front's going to be okay, but I want to keep an eye on these. And if the Ottomans don't do anything over there, I'll release this force and they can go and support Murat, did I just say? Yeah. In um, his invasion of the Pontifical States, which would be good to get them out of the way, so the southern flank secure. Well, for the minute anyway. Uh, had quite a good spending spree. Um, steam engines, I think it was, were finished researching, so I was up to, able to upgrade all the gold mines. Uh, at least I think all of them, I'm not sure how many I missed. Um, this new field army under Suchet is winding its way up here. At the moment, Ney is the only one holding the northern frontier. I've raided them, of course, because I'm a bitch. Um, so I'll hold him. I'm not going to advance into Prussia just yet. I'm just going to let him finish retraining. But this has got to be done, so... Um, Got to finish them off and start the advance into here because I've got Napoleon on the southern front as well. So I want to see if I can. Basically, I want to learn who's there. So I think. Right. Okay. So I clearly I'll do this off camera. So I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> That's them cleared. Right, so that's him done. That's his movement finished. Monsieur? So Napoleon. En avant, Let's just sit him on the border. So his, his arm is pretty, pretty complete, really. I can't quite. Monsieur, vos ordres? En attente de vos ordres? Ah, Prussians, here we go. So the, Pru Ooh, the Prussian armies are forming down there, okay. That's going to be interesting then. In the sense of the Chinese proverb rather than in a good way. But I've got to engage them, got to destroy them. So um, on this eastern flank, once... I um, can't think of this, Messina? Messina, yeah. Once his army's assembled, there's a, an infantry unit there and a cavalry unit there. Either he or DeVoe. Yeah, DeVoe. I'm going to advance on Hungary. That's one of the victory conditions, so we'll take that out. That's the current capital of the Austrian Empire. And um, whoever isn't advancing, probably fall back into Vienna if I'm not at war with the Ottomans yet. Because this flank will therefore be secure if I'm not at war with them. Uh, so that's that. Nothing really going on up there to worry about. So yeah, my two armies converging there and maybe seeing that makes the decision for me when it comes to Ney. Of course, truth. I've got some armies, sir. So that army from Berlin can't get to Hanover, so I'm safe. Prêt à recevoir vos ordres? You can defend the bridge. 
So I would imagine the Prussians are going to attack. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Um, so I have three armies now converging on this capital, but the Prussians are there to support them. They have three very full armies, half an army, plus their armies. Going to be a bit of scrapping going on. Um, but for the minute, I think that's all I can do. So I've also got... Uh, Suchet's army concentrating on this western flank so once they've concentrated which is basically the guns are going to oh I didn't, yeah I've got no guns with them bugger, silly, silly sud mm, that was a mistake I should have probably left them on their side of the border and um, held off for a turn so they can recover but never mind, I've done it um, the two guns there are joining Bernadotte's army that will release one of the cavalry and Suchet's army is going to sort of follow him behind Bernadotte, probably leapfrog him because they're in better shape and don't need the experience as well because this is a new army largely um, and move into Saxony and Thuringia that's the plan but obviously anything can happen in the next 30 minutes so I think that's time to run the intern now yeah, can't think of anything else worth doing so um I'll run the end turn, see how many times I get attacked. <laughs> Here we go. Plenty going on in the end turn, but this is the first one I want to actually do. Um, I had to retreat from three very full Prussian armies who had Michel Ney surrounded up um, outside of Hanover. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But um, yeah, that, that would have just been f sort of fighting to the death out of rage, really, <laughs> which wouldn't have served any purpose. So I'll see what I can do about them later. But um, this is um, the old uh, Konigs Dudar people. Can't think of the name now, sorry. Uh, so there's two armies. I think this second one is... This is Napoleon, obviously, as you can see. I think this second one is off to the right down here. I think they came up there or something. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's about even steams in terms of numbers. A couple of cav, a couple of guns... Plenty of decent infantry, you know. Three generals, one light cab, one gun. Two guns, beg your pardon. And uh, some infantry, so... um, Got to be done, because they've got to be destroyed. So I'll get set up. I've got the slightest little sneak peek. Um, just after I clicked, you know, attack, or whatever that cross one was. And I think they might be coming on from over there, so... Taking a bit of a gamble, but I'm sitting up heavy on this side because of the terrain. I'm going to try and rush this ridge and see if I can engage these in detail and try and defeat them. There's a few out here that I can possibly screen off and defeat with. I've got a um, three brigades of infantry, basically. There's the first one. Um, the second brigade is here to move straight up the middle. Uh, third brigade of my lights but the fourth brigade are the uh, sort of more elite troops that I'm leaving to deploy either way because there's about 2,200 here so if I can engage and defeat them shall we say before the, the reinforcements get on there it's got to be worth trying um Oh, you buggers. He's cheated me. In which case... Change of plan. Generals. 
sir. Now, they must break. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and mug them. Keep them on the back foot there. Then that's a change of plan, but okay. Our men are running, sir. Yeah. That's not bad, though, they did a lot of damage. Couple of generals. Fuckers. Not paying attention. Alright then, so let's uh, have a quick shifty, see what we're looking at. Sells into a firing line of sorts. That's good. <coughs> Can use him. Have my cavalry recovered? Yes. The resolve. Go to the guns first. I want that one. Yeah, that's 
past that. You can limber up, you're good. I'm sorry boys. Good, they're gone. Right, they're moving. 
I'll be some micros, Fred. Yay! Come on, boys. Put your tiredness to one side for just for a second. A glorious victory, sir. Is soon to be yours. Good. Okay. You get rid of the guns from the looks of it. Afraid. I think bayonets. Oh, I'm not getting any of the sound effects. Look at this. Didn't hear about that. I hmm, have to check the settings after this battle has finished. Ah, oh, they're just exhausted. Okay, fair enough. I can allow that. <laughs> you did a lot. So it looks like this one's basically done, doesn't it? Um, let's just send a couple more in reverse. You shouldn't be firing anything, nor is the other one, so they're both done. Yeah, I think these are done. Um, okay. So given that this is all over by the shouting then... Oh, grenadiers, yeah, we want them. Um, I'll pack the recording in and... Uh, be back with the results. Uh, I think I gave him a good old slap. Anyway, still was 700 bloody men. And various things going on. Machinations and things like that. <laughs> uh, Prussian fleet has blockaded uh, Antwerp. So I've lost a fair amount of, fair amount of income, actually. Um, never mind. So... I had a scrap off camera with the Swedish fleet, destroyed them, but managed to lose a few of my own ships in the process. So they're back in port in Brest being repaired. Um, I also had a couple of skirmishes off camera that the Austrians sent. Uh, yeah, a couple of annoying units, this being the survivor of one of them. A couple of little armies out, one towards Olmutz and the other kind of up here. So I destroyed them and some Lancers got away, about 120 of them, I think. So that was annoying because I had to split off part of um, Devo's army, as you can see, to get them up there. Got the um, the militia on the way back to Guard Olmutz. So you know, I'll fart around a bit there. I know I, I need to. Let's get you back in there. Oh, actually, I've got a unit on the way over there. Well, I? Yes. So with them there, that means. The Seine is ready to go next turn, obviously, because he hasn't got any movement left on him. So I might send him over here and up towards Budapest, because I think uh, Devo's going to be busy fighting around with, you know, garrison um, raiding parties. I'll leave them two in their repair room for a while. Um, where are you? Oh yeah, this is Morant. I've just got him there in kind of um, defensive stance. There's his rogue cavalry unit there, so that's not a bad position to be in, just in case something happens there. There's two Ottoman fleets are down here now. So it's like they're going all the way around. They're either going to land somewhere in Spain, which might be why Spain are suddenly rushing all their armies back, which they have many. Or they're going for that coast, so if it looks like they're bypassing. Um, I've been... Um, Scaramouche and these boys all the way back. 
Um, these are two newly recruited units that came out of Bordeaux, I think, or somewhere like that. Uh, so they don't have a general yet, but if the need arises, I will have to recruit one. Just uh, don't really want to recruit, spend the money yet, because I've got my on somewhere else. So I've got various other units that just have been recruited, and they're in kind of various states of moves towards the front. Uh, I had to retire Bernardo from there all the way back to Hanover because. The Prussians are assembling here in, in force. They're the ones that tried to uh, sort of trap Ney. So I've got to decide what to do with Ney, but I think the first thing to do is, Monsieur. although Napoleon lost men, I've got to get him into there. He's got to assault Dresden, so... <coughs> yeah, uh, they've got their numbers on me, but, you know, I, don't really, I haven't really got a lot of choice. Well, that said, they're all low-grade, yeah. Okay, so there might be 3,100 of them, but they're not brilliant. So they've got a three melee defence. Oh yeah, I think that's a bayonet charge begging to be done. Um, Strub's survivors are going to be coming from the back left, I would guess. Like Cav. Straightforward artillery, isn't it? Straightforward artillery... And some militia. So, yeah, maybe we'll get Dresden this time. That'll be good. All right, see how we get on. Oh, they're coming on there. Okay, that's interesting. First one that's going to go. So there's the calf, there's the fumfa. bothered by them, I can wait for them. Not that important. Yep. 
Yep, they're gone. Fortunately, they're below the ridge, so I don't think you can shoot at me. Loads of time to deal with them. Come on, kill him. Get him out of the way. Themselves. Oh, there we are. Not going to put up much of a fight then. I mean, these are militia as well, but it would be good to clear this flank up and then I'll have um, my heavy cav just kind of lurking. Done. Okay. See if I can't get the artillery working up there. This brigade ain't going to have anyone to fight if they're not lucky. Let's get you up there. What's that? That's the point. Okay. Yep. Fair enough. You can sit behind there. I particularly want you wounded before the fun starts. Okay. Yeah, there's me Voltigers and me Skirmishers doing their stuff. Right. 
certainly send sound. Oh, it's sort of out, but clearly not. bit then. Better than nothing, I guess. I don't think militia can set spikes, can they? So I'm okay for that. still going. Can't see anyone I've missed. There's somebody up there behind one of the flags. No. Ah, thank you very much. Right, in bell. That'll do. Okay. Uh, yeah, they've gone. But. Right, what do we do here? That'll piss them off. Liberation, new, new protector, da, 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 diplomatic relations, strong. Uh, resource per minute, force per minute. Yeah, yeah, um, mind you, they're right in the middle of Prussian forces as well, aren't they? So, let's do that. Don't do that very often. Cool. Okay, so with that done... Oh, I've got new boys. <laughs> Norbert Schiff. Norbert, good name. Not a name you hear very often, is it? Norbert. We like Norbert. Right, um, so yeah, with that done, I think we'll... Uh, huh. Yeah, I think we'll call this one a day. And um, be back for the next episode in a couple of days. All right, see you soon. Ta-da.